Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a very easy method of modifying your Red Dead Redemption 2 game. As you can see over here, I'm playing Arthur the Giant inside St. Denis, messing up with the other pedestrians. So you can do a lot more than this using the Rampage Trainer. In order to modify your Red Dead Redemption 2, you need the following prerequisites. You need to head over to Nexus Mods. Uh, the link will be in the description. You need to download two files. One is the Rampage Trainer. I'm going to be showing you uh, the new version that they're working on, which is called the NUI. You can download it using the manual download button that they have given you here. And they'll show you a pop-up showing a prerequisite that you need for the Rampage Trainer, which is the script hook. And I'll show you where you can get that as well. You can download it from this link. The link will also be in the description. Uh, but to download the Rampage NUI, just go ahead and click on the download button. And then you can start your download over here. You'll need to be logged into Nexus Mods in order to download any files from. And the next file that you will need is the script hook. Link is also in the description. Just go to that link and download it from here. You head over to your Red Dead Redemption 2 game folder. Open the two files that you've downloaded. So uh, the one that's Rampage NUI. Just take the Rampage Files folder and the .asi file and move it inside the game folder. And the second thing that you will need is the script hook. Uh, once you open it, you will see a bin folder. Go inside the bin folder and then just copy the dinput8.dll and the script hook DLL file. You don't have to copy the native trainer because we are using, we are going to be using Rampage, which is a much better version of the trainer and has a lot of good options. So just move these into the main game folder. Once you've done that, uh, that's it. Just run the game and I'll show you what you can do inside the game using this uh, Rampage Trainer. Alright, so once you're inside the game, what you need to do is to activate the Rampage Trainer. For that, you need to press F5 and you would see the Rampage and UI interface over there. You can navigate using the arrow keys or better yet you can just use the numpad uh, in which 8 is up, 2 is down, 4 and 6 is left and right and in order to enter anything you can just press num 5. There are a lot of cool features here where you can modify your player. So you can go ahead inside, you can change the or Arthur's or John Marshall's wardrobe. If you wanted to apply a cloak, for example, let's just select this one, enable this cloak, uh, select the legendary panther cloak or trapper's cloak, just hit enter and it's going to apply that cloak over you. Press zero on the numpad to go back into the menu and you can explore these options uh, later on. And you can apply different effects to your player like firing burst, sparks, like so. And you can change moods, you can configure your abilities, like for example you want the dead eye level uh, to be unlimited, keep it always on, you can uh, enable god mode, auto heal, if you can also enable ghost mode in which your player will disable, you can have infinite stamina, never wanted, these are all some of the good things if you just want to do a sandbox kind of a thing going. If you want the mild animals to ignore you, you can turn this on and off. You can also enable disable any noise that you make. You can enable super jump, so it will appear like this, you can see. Pretty fun feature. You can also enable ultra jump, that will enable uh, the player to even go higher. You can even scale the player like I showed you earlier. You can just increase the value and it will keep on increasing. This is also something hard. real cool. Uh, you can also enable Super Run. It will be much faster like this. You'll have to press the Shift key in order to go faster. Oh my god. Ouch. You, 
can do a quick skin, which will allow you to skin the animals pretty fast. You can also have a fly mode over here. So you can explore all of these things on your own. Let's go back. If you want to get different weapons, you can uh, even enable aimbot over here. You can manage your weapons, going into the weapons uh, option, weapons locker. So you can select any weapons that you want over here. You can teleport to different locations if you wish to. So go ahead down into a different safe house and cam. Let's just select the Beaver Hollow for this example. When you select it, it's going to do some GTA 5 kind of thing. And there you go. You've teleported to Beaver Hollow. And another cool thing about this is the spawner mode. Uh, here you can spawn different types of vehicles. You can spawn different pets or objects, uh, vegetables, herbs. Um, let me show you one. Let's go into the spawner setting. You can spawn a train. You can spawn a wagon. Let's spawn a buggy. And there you go. So easy. What else do we have? We can do some cool stuff in the world. You can change the time of the day. Like that. And you can even change the dates. You can go ahead and change the weather. You can randomize it or just make it sunny, overcast, fog. So, a lot of options here. Let's check the miscellaneous one. You can even modify the music. Some overlays. You can even show the FPS. You can see that on the top right corner. Make it sunny. Uh, you can play this around. You can spawn different animals, change their sizes, change your stats. So there you go. Hope you liked the video. It's pretty simple to install. Once you have the native trainer, you can use a lot of other mods uh, inside the trainer. And if you liked the video, please subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.